to talk to you guys a little bit about um, a different kind of cat. He's not alive today, but he's very, very popular, and he's in a lot of our minds, and that would be a Smilodon, or what most of us call a saber-toothed tiger. They're actually not the tiger. Um, they're more closely related to lions we have today. They lived alongside the American lions we used to have in this country. The closest thing we have to a Smilodon, or saber-toothed cat today, would be our clouded leopard. Um, relative to their size, they have the largest canines, or maxillary teeth, of any other cat species. This one's about, I would say, two inches. Compare that to Smilodon with seven inch teeth. Those are pretty massive. They actually go back into his skull about four inches. Um, and this is just a replica, so it doesn't actually show you, but on a real Smilodon, or saber tooth skull, the back of those teeth are gonna be serrated. So they act like huge knives. They were very, very strong muscular animals. Much more muscular than the tigers and lions you see today. And they would take down their prey, pin it down, and they would slash into the belly or the jugular esophagus area of the animal with these big teeth. Uh, and the way they were able to do that was because they could open their mouth to an angle of 120 degrees. Uh, lion, which was only able to open its mouth 65 degrees. So this guy was pretty much limited to hunting very large prey, things like uh, large bison, um, buffalo, uh, macedon, mammoths, things like that. There's some questions as to what they actually look like, their coat patterns. We all know what lions look like, tigers look like, they're striped. Um, we think based on their vegetative backgrounds, the flora at that time, that they were similar to bobcats in coat patterns. Uh, remember these guys lived a long, long time ago. They'd be found as far back as nine million years ago, which makes them prehistoric. What do you guys think about that? Pretty impressive, huh?